Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finish down 48, NASDAQ down 16, S&P's off four. Gold, gold contract up a buck, trading at 18.39 an ounce. We had silver up 30, down 39 cents, $21.46 an ounce. Platinum off 13 bucks, 9.26 an ounce. Light sweet crude down $4.04, 4 105.47. You had copper down 10 and a half pennies. These, these commodities got smoked out here today. Notes and bonds, you had the 10 year note up a full point plus six ticks trading out of the price point of 117 flat 30 year up a full two points plus 24 ticks at 13604 remember folks um one point in the bond market on note bot market is 32 ticks so big moves out here today uh bottom line you have the 10 year yielding 3.14 and you know, the way that shakes out folks is this is that yeah rates are going up but you get plenty of people that are coming in the marketplace. And if you're listening to Tommy this morning, this was the first, one of the first days that the correlation was there, that you had uh, markets down, bonds up. And the bottom line is that the, they're basically trading. They're saying that, hey, guess what? Uh, markets keep going down. You know, maybe the Fed has to back down. I don't see it backing down, but the bottom line, that's what makes markets. Dollar, dollar down two, 236, trading at 104.199, Euro 105. Yen 136 and the British pound 122 to 1 US dollar. Bottom line, folks, you had a failure on price out here today. Uh, price couldn't hold. You know, you get a sideways move. This is the building cause for the next leg lower. Uh, you had the spy. The spy should have been able to hold this 377.94. You got the 378, closed the 374, gave it up in spades, as did the NDX 100. The NDX 100 is the weakest indice out there. Uh, the Qs today got up to 285. You close the 280, big number, man. You know, you're going into 94 million shares, you've done 63. Gold, gold, rejected lower price out here, but that being said, the bottom line is that, you know, we need more than a rejection of lower price. We got a rejection of lower price today at 1824. It's did 141,000 contracts. That was going into over 200,000 contracts. So setup is not bad. What we haven't had is the wide price spread accelerated volume on the way up, meaning a sign of strength, and that's what we need inside of the gold and silver market. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show, folks. Have a great one. Have a safe one.